A C B A. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Bug nice coming at you with a quick update. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. Just a friendly reminder to go back and check out this past week's episode of the Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast. Episode 193 is live for your listening and viewing pleasure. Again, Friday nights at about 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is our go time, at least for the foreseeable future. We definitely want to continue doing the community highlights at the beginning of the show and expanding on that as you know it is kind of our namesake you know (laughs) so a lot more focus on actual acba and we want to kind of slim down the news aspect or at least spending too much time on each topic but yeah pretty good weekend shout out to my beautiful wonderful girlfriend ashley she ran the brooklyn half marathon this past weekend finished in uh just a little over two hours two hours and seven minutes she said this one was definitely tougher than the previous half marathon it was scorching here in new york city but yeah there she is looking all chocolatey and beautiful had to hit up one of our favorites carmines for a carb load up after this talked about carmines uh, my birthday vlog so she did that saturday and then sunday she was off to paris i'm in the trenches eating ramen noodles and other news in terms of marvel legends we saw the X-Men the Animated Series special VHS box set morph figure finally revealed in all his glory. A lot of people happy about this. A lot of people been anticipating this figure. Honestly, I could really care less about about this figure. I'm glad they gave him the uh, Dope Fiend head sculpt, but I do think that I saw somebody comment that the face sculpts look a little wide and they should be a little elongated um, and not as wide. I don't know that they really nailed these head sculpts here. I'm glad they didn't just use the cyclops body they actually went the distance in terms of the body the jacket but not enough accessories here he should have had a bunch of different head sculpts to kind of mimic his power i'm looking far past this though i'm looking at this outfit and i'm hoping that uh we see the uh jim lee style x-men costumes at some point hopefully that'll tie into the little tease that they gave at the end of their ig live stream when dwight posed the question if we would like to see gambit without a jacket i'm thinking that maybe Gambit without the jacket or a removable jacket could be in the Jim Lee style costume and we could get an X squad maybe it'll be a box set who knows but there was that and then late last night we got the Thor Love and Thunder trailer which looks okay I'm actually I was actually kind of confused I'm thinking Thor when's Guardians of the Galaxy coming out I don't know I'm kind of mixing the two movies but you know we're gonna get Jane Forster Thor we're gonna get Gore the God Butcher a lot of people not happy about his look here in the movie. So talking to my man David Walton about this, and I mentioned this on the last episode of the podcast, or maybe the one before, but David had mentioned that maybe Gore, as we see him in the trailer here, is not really his final form, and maybe at some point he will change and look more like his comic book counterpart. But to me, the movie looks fun. You know, I'm not expecting too much from these Marvel movies these days. I'm not being overly critical. I'm just trying to go in and 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 have a good time watching a live action Marvel movie, you know? And speaking of the Thor Love and Thunder movie, you know we have that Korg Build-A-Figure wave associated with the movie that had already started showing up in Walmarts and Targets and what have you. Shout out to my man Hannibal Beast 13 He's going to be sending me a couple of figures from that wave. I've been playing catch up for the past couple weeks, trying to round out some Build-A-Figure waves that I kind of been procrastinating about finishing up. So also shout out to my man Moises Chavez on Facebook. He helped me out with a couple of figures from the Eternals Build-A-Figure Wave as well as one of the figures from the Rentra Build-A-Figure Wave. Shout out to my man Trevor aka 16 Shooter. He helped me out with a couple of figures from the Eternals Wave as well as did my podcast mate Rick Dom. He also hooked me up with a cheap discounted Defender Doctor Strange. You know I just want that portal effect. And also shout out to my man Pac Photos on Instagram who helped me complete the uh, uh, what if watcher build a figure wave so i've got the watcher i've got gilgamesh i'm working on rentra i ordered a couple of uh discounted figures from the rentra build a figure wave on uh target's website i also just got the uh walgreens exclusive jigsaw i opened him up last night really really nice figure shout out to my man adam rodriguez shout out to rosie maker 1906 a couple of people that put me on when that went up for uh pre-order or not even pre-order it was an 
order on Walgreens website. They ship that pretty fast. I got that in hand pretty fast. And then I also see that the Havoc figure from the Bonebreaker Builder Figure Wave converted on Big Bad Toy Store randomly, just that one figure. And also the uh, 20th anniversary retro carded Rhino figure with the new updated paint and head sculpts that converted on Big Bad Toy Store for me as well. So I have those two things as well as the fourth form Frieza on a pile of loot that I'm building up right now that I'll probably ship soon. And you guys know that I mentioned that I did get the 20th anniversary of Marvel Legends Captain America figure too, and I have him on the table as well. I'm looking forward to really shooting that figure. That figure is so nice. This is my second time saying how he's so nice. Very, very good figure. And finally, before I get up out of here, Mezco with the secret drop today. You know, last week they did the 2.0 Spider-Man that went up for pre-order. And today they did Green Goblin, who was featured in some of the pictures with Spider-Man. There was also some Doc Ock tentacles in there. Not really sure how I feel about this. I'm gonna sleep on this, process it, talk about it on this week's episode of the Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast. So yeah, thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe hit that bell down there and until next time peace i'm in the game i'm grinding i got the play 24 hours in the day seven days out the week i never sleep i'm on my grizzly bear 52 weeks out the year 